trucking museum here also which I'm gonna go check out first and then we'll go check out the world's largest truck stop I guess they don't have a state law that they must stop for pedestrians <laughs> I don't know certainly don't want to get hit by a big old 18 wheeler. There's the uh, trucking museum. Oh, I could have pulled over here. Hey there. Howdy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Just signed the uh, guest book, and they've got a, a donation here. Looks like they got already a suggestion. But those tires are pretty hard. This is a Walter 100% traction. So this is a 1903 L Ridge and uh, it's a two cylinder gasoline engine. Transmission's a fiction drive. Top speed 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Just joking. Top speed, 10 miles an hour. Well, that's kind of cool. First truck ever. Loving these gas pumps. This is pretty darn cool. Can you uh, imagine 12 cents gallon for gas. Keep America rolling. I lay the mark to my right to sing songs about truck. Trucking is a six hundred and sixty billion dollar industry and a vital part of our economy. Well that was interesting. Let's go see some let's go see some trucks. Well it's pretty dead gum build. <laughs> Guess it has to be if it's keeping trucks. Oh, they got a, a regular truck in here. A Jeep uh, J10 Honcho. They just started making Jeep trucks again. This is pretty dang good and cool. This looks like the Ford cab that was on our fire truck. It's the police. 
It's an armored truck. <laughs> That's pretty dang cool. Feeling satisfied. It not even got a bed in it. This reminds me of the front end of the uh, fire truck in Arlington, Texas. Except for it didn't have a cab on it. A roof, should I say. Like they got an added on to this building to handle all the trucks. Get a hard tires here. Got a rough ride. I don't have any fire trucks in here. Pretty interesting. Don't know what it is. McDonald. McDonald is your kind of place. Yeah, look, they got those hard tires on there. Concrete mixer, an old one. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never seen a concrete truck like that. Dump truck. It's pretty cool, uh, little replica of a gas station, Texaco gas station. Another dump truck. Toy trucks, a bunch of them. Studebaker truck, I didn't know they made any. Aero car diesel, stainless steel, wow. Well, that was a pretty darn cool museum. Uh, if you ever stop at the uh, world's largest truck stop, be sure to check this out. Uh, it's well worth the uh, the view, and it's free. Can't beat that. All right, let's go check out the uh, world's largest truck stop now, which I've been at once. Everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that I need. The there is breakneck. The uh, world's largest truck stop. A lot of people going in and out. Since 1964. Interstate 80 is the second longest interstate in the U.S. We got a Taco Bell, a DQ, Pizza Hut. You got a restaurant back that way. Bottle cap opener with your uh, name on it. Never do see my name. Richard Ron. Uh, no. No Rexes. Some gnomes. Let's see what they got upstairs. 
like people waiting on showers. Yeah, showers, laundry. Done a lot of laundry at truck stops. Let me get your hair cut here. Fitness center. Now you can get your teeth worked on. <laughs> All kinds of stuff for your 18 wheeler truck and more. <laughs> Pretty dang cool. Going over to the uh, theater in the lounge. They had Orange Julius's at the uh, Dairy Queen, so I thought I'd get one because I hadn't had one in a long time. It's good. Wow. I just got a brain freeze. <sighs> I knew you were looking at that. <laughs> oh, I was just going to take a picture of it. This is the world's largest Pac Man game. Massive. <laughs> there we go. World's the largest. Game. It's been a long time. But. I'll give it a shot, right? Eh? Yep. World's <laughs> largest Pac-Man game right here. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. We have the world's largest Pac-Man game here. Well, guys, if you're ever in Walcott, Iowa, uh, stop by here at the world's largest truck stop and the uh, truck uh, museum over there. It's pretty darn cool. This place is huge. It's got to be for being the largest uh, trucking museum. Catch y'all on the road here at the world's largest truck stop. This girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck, paycheck, rat race What's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I'll go back where I came Everybody knows my name All my friends are still the same I guess the slow life If you just ride like a bonfire On a cool night Yeah, you can keep your nine to five Cause I'm happy with the simple Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I think I'm in Wilco, Ohio. Uh, saw this and I had to turn had to turn around. Little springy kid rides, I don't know what they're called. Couple of swings. Uh burm, I can't pronounce that. Tire Auto Repair Center here. I guess it is. You got a trumpeter, popcorn, ice creams, and a pink pig. 
all kinds of signs here on the side of the building. It says they're closed. Got some old gas pumps here. Anyway, I thought it was pretty dang cool, so I had to uh, stop a couple of nutcracker guys. Yep, pretty dang cool. <laughs> uh, I've got to stop somewhere in here. I forgot what it was, but I'll find out. Catch you on the road. Hell, I come 40,000 miles over here to see what damn a pretty little lips gonna do to me. Single time that I come around and seen you got another man trying to keep you down. Howdy, y'all. Lone Star Rider here. I'm in Wilton, Ohio, and I'm at the what is this place called? <laughs> and I'm at the candy kitchen. Let's go check it out. The candy kitchen was built in 1856, it's been here forever. Uh, Really cool. So we're gonna go inside. Hi. Howdy. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. So I'm, gonna, I'm guessing this is your first time. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time here. Well, there's a museum in the back. Yeah. You just look around. You want to slip high small for fillers? Probably get a root beer float before I leave. Oh, you already know. Maybe. Guessing. Excuse me. Yep. Sorry. Careful of the, the floor has just been mopped, so don't fall. All right, I won't kill myself. Don't, yeah, don't kill yourself. <laughs> I won't be able to sleep after that. I probably would be. Well, you would have no trouble. Oh. They got a little museum back here. Pretty darn cool. I don't know who the old guy is. I have to ask. It looks like a lot of history on Wilton here. He had a Wilton uh, fire department jacket. A guy named Jim. Alright, so she's squirting on the surface. Nice. Okay, Good. Nice. 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 Is that it? Yeah. Pretty good beer. Well, you might think you're driving me insane, but I made the game that you're trying to play. You know, I think you maybe ought to know this ain't my first rodeo. Some things you can't take back 
you coming? Come on, baby. First time. Alrighty. What's the zip code I can enter for you? Alright. $15 today. That's my card. Check it out. So where is where where was your home before you started doing this? Fort Worth, Texas. Bunch of toy motorcycles going on here. Harley Davidson wine coolers. <laughs> Women in the wind. I've heard of this group before. Oh my gosh, this is pretty cool. Evil Knievel. First thing you get is Evil Knievel when you walk in. Oh, there's some uh, x-rays of his broken bones. I'm not a big fan of that movie, by the way. I thought it was all kind of idiotic. I know. Almost looks like a Honda Trail 50. That's Scooter Row here. Here's a Harley Davidson's attempt at a scooter in 1965. This, uh, Harley Davidson Sprint, I almost bought. And of course, I bought a uh, Yamaha instead. That's weird looking, kind of boxy. How you doing? Oh, you want to do a stare down contest? You're on. I think she's gonna win. Hey guys, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. I don't know her name because she doesn't say anything, but she's good looking. They're showing the uh, world's fastest Indian up there. 
That was a good movie. If you've never seen it, even if you don't like motorcycles, it's a good movie. On the Cubs. Guess we're in the Honda section. This is a. What year is this? 1834 Harley Davidson 45 survey car. Well, that's pretty interesting. Got some motorboat motors. John Deere, Water Witch, Johnson. Bike of the Week. American Wells Fargo Delivery. This is the bicycle section. That's a pretty cool looking bicycle right there. Had an awesome time at the National Motorcycle Museum. It's a great museum. Uh, tons and tons of motorcycles there to see and lots of history. Very cool. Yeah, what could else I say? <laughs> if you're ever in the area, stop and check out the National Motorcycle Museum. It's well worth the stop. Catch you on the road at the National Motorcycle Museum. Very cool. Lone Star Rider here. I'm near Mount Vernon, Iowa, and I'm here at this barn that's called the American Gothic. Let's take a look at it. This is uh, pretty darn cool. You got a pretty good sized cornfield behind the barn here. I didn't see any no trespassing signs either. So I guess they want people to come by and take a look at this pretty darn slick very very cool
Catch you on the road here at American Gothic Barn <laughs> in Mount Vernon. Very cool. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighters and throw our problems in the Star Roddy here. I'm here in Riverside, Iowa, the home, excuse me, the future home of James Tiberius Kirk. <laughs> yes, the future home. This town is definitely take on Star Trek. They've got a bronze statue here of James T. Kirk, and then they've got a marker over by the city hall. They got stamps. They even have a festival um, here. I don't know when that is. They've got a museum. Uh, pretty darn cool. I'm not here when the museum's open, so darn. Anyway, <laughs> pretty darn cool. Uh, the, they got this mock-up of the Enterprise here, which is pretty cool. The museum is right over there. Um, if you want to check out the uh, the festival, there's www.trekfest.org. Pretty darn cool. What do you got going on over here? Future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk, March 22nd, 2228. 
which isn't actually that far. <laughs> uh, look at this here. I want you for Starfleet. History of Star Trek exhibits, tourism, visitors, visitors bureau, and so on. Very cool. Catch you on the road here in Riverside, Iowa, the future birthplace of Captain T. Kirk of the Federation. <laughs> Keep on thinking back on it When we escaped with our first real paycheck Wasn't much but we needed less Yeah than we do now We were driving along the coast I felt the ocean breeze on my face Wanted to go as far as we ever could But Well, this is pretty darn slick. Guys, if y'all are not subscribed to me, you should be, then you'd be able to see some stuff like this. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road here. And what they got connected here just uh, north of the trucks. <laughs> Guys, if y'all are ever in this area, I don't even know where this area is. I have to figure this out. Well, well, guys, if you ever, well, guys, if y'all are ever in Walcott, Iowa, well, guys, if you're ever. <laughs> It is hot out here today. Yep, time to get back on the road. Well, the world's largest truck stops were stopped seeing. If you're ever in the area, check it out. I think I already did this, didn't I? Well, I had a good time in the uh, motorcycle, the national. <laughs> Start over. Howdy, y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm just, uh, north I think of Mount Vernon I forget what state I'm in <laughs> that's crazy I'll be right back if you, uh, if you guys like these types of movies movies <laughs> let's try this again you Captain 
of Captain Kirk 